start to your Wednesday here on Breakfast Television, 726. Meredith Shaw, Sid Sixero here with you. Good morning. Uh, we, we've talked about it a bit in news today. Toronto looking for solutions for housing in the city. A lot of municipalities are. Uh, the idea on the table now is building on top of city-owned parking lots, specifically along transit routes and stations. The city's parking portfolio currently contains 300 purpose-built parking facilities managed by the Toronto Parking Authority. City staff have since estimated there are approximately 130 parking lots that are suitable to potentially support housing. So again, 130 out of 300 the city is looking at for housing. Obviously, Few people can argue, Mayor, yeah. we don't need the housing. Yes. But as someone who does drive into the city every day, and I know one day I won't be doing that because cars will be obsolete, that time, however, isn't now. How do you how do you strike this balance? This is what people are kind of trying to figure out. Where do you go with this? Well, I mean, this is a huge issue our city is having in terms of housing. It is an absolute crisis. And so I think the city has to be doing everything in their power, including looking at the land that they own, and figuring out, can we make housing out of this? I mean, I just, I think that has to be a sort of litmus test. And more and more, we're moving towards both in a sustainability point of view and also just in a congestion point of view to a less car friendly type of city because of the sheer number of it all. Um, and so I, I'm for the city taking a look at this. I think this makes sense. I, I'm, not, I'm not for all like 300 spaces no, being taken. Not all three, but if there are a few. There has, to, N, yes, you know. there has to be a balance. I'm with you. I'm fine with this number. Pushing it past 130, I think it's worth the discussion mm. uh, because people still come into the city. You still, businesses want people coming into the city. Cars are still a thing. We're not at 2050 yet. Um, so I, I do believe in a balance here, and we'll see where Mayor Chow, we know where Mayor Chow stands on cars, and, mm -hmm. and, and it's not too dissimilar. I mean, Mayor Tory wanted to really shut down King Street for cars. It's not a new philosophy. We'll see where this goes. What do you think? Feedback at breakfasttelevision.ca. All right, we're going to take another break here on BT. Coming up, the blue bovine steak and sushi house, just the sound of that, <laughs> is a modern take on a traditional steakhouse combining the artistry of a Japanese sushi house. Chef Rodney is there live. Live. This is going to be good. That's coming up after news. Good Wednesday morning. More BT straight ahead. Yeah, he was excited for this one. I, I, yeah. I, 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 I <laughs> jumped out of bed this morning for this one. Yeah. <laughs>